What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Fargo, and today I'm going to give you guys my insights on who maybe to pick from the 100% anniversary banner that we're going to get in a couple of days that's going to have all of these characters on it. So I just thought I'd give you guys my thoughts on it. Now, before we get in this video, I just want to say that when it comes to PGR, guys, as far as metas, it's not really a big deal, right? It really isn't as far as, you know, what you actually need, because even on my free-to-play account, I don't have a lot of these characters, and I do just fine. You don't really need them. It's really only when you maybe get competitive that maybe you would want some of these characters. The other thing is, right now, we have Nier. Right now we have Nier, and this is a collaboration where you can get an insane amount of value for your buck, right? I mean, whenever you take a character to double S, you're going to get 30 free shards, right? And that goes for all of these characters, right? 2B, 9S, and they give 9S and A2 completely for free. They even give 50 shards extra for free for A2 that you can farm from the event. And that's kind of the thing about, you know, this time of, you know, maybe pulling for the 100% banners that a lot of people are just going to be using their black cards for this. They're going to be using them for their near team, and they really should because you're going to get the most bang for your buck from these guys. I mean, generally, when you go into your regular banners, you're going to spend 15,000 black cards, whereas with near on top of all the free shards that they're giving, on top of giving the two free characters, it only costs 10,500 black cards to go to pity. Whereas for these other characters, for that 100% banner that's going to come in a couple of days, you got to spend 15,000 black cards. Why would you spend your black cards on that when you could obviously go for these OP characters, this OP team that's only going to show up twice in global, right? It's going to show up right now. It's going to show up later down the road, seven, eight months later in a rerun, right? It's your only opportunity to really get these characters and they really are insane. So that's really what I would advise more than anything is that you focus your attention on near now as far as the characters that we can actually get right i mean you guys can check them out so here's the thing right live conway lee karenina and s Nanami, all five of those characters uh you actually can get from your s free rank s rank selector when you first start the game you also get a free s rank character one of the five for after your first 40 attempts when you first start this game so more than likely you already have one of those characters here's the thing about them guys when it comes to s lee he's 100 percent physical character Again, you're just going to want to go for Nier. You're really not going to want S. Lee whenever you can just get the Nier team. In all honesty, guys, Karenina and Nanami, they're kind of in a bad situation because the fire team uh, currently in the game just really, they're good, but they're not great, right? You don't really, you can actually get by with using the Nier team, guys. You can actually get by just using a different team for your fire damage dealing uh, pain cages and war zone and still be fairly competitive yeah i know it's, it's really crazy as much as i love karenina and, and really astronomy too that's really just the way it is and Kamoy there i mean you know Kamoy is great and he really is essential for your dark team especially with luna and s vera but there's going to be free s rank selectors that's going to happen in the future and i can tell you guys right now on JP, which is seven months ahead of Global, there is a deal in there where you can spend 12,000 black cards where you can get a free S rank selector. You can choose either Liv, Kamoy, Lee, Karenina, or S Nanami from that thing, right? You get two free pets, which is awesome, guys, and you get a free weapon resonance. It is just nuts. The value that you get for those 12,000 black cards is awesome. So I would advise people just to wait. I would advise people just to wait before they would pull any of those five characters. So then it comes down to the last four characters, which are Alpha, Bianca, Plume, and Rosetta. Well, here's the thing when it comes to those characters, guys. Alpha and Rosetta are both 100% physical characters. And even though Alpha's damage ceiling is crazy, like, she does have the highest burst damage, even compared to Nier and Pancage, she can... Depending on the level, of obviously, if you're near and obviously, if you're alpha, really depends on how this would play out. But if you have a maxed out alpha with a maxed out versus a maxed out near team, alpha still can pull out slightly ahead in pain cage only due to her burst potential. 
that's really where it's at for this girl, but it won't make that big of a difference. So you're really better off just to focus on Nier. And Nier is definitely going to be better in Warzone, thanks to A2's blue orbs that just bring everybody together. The gravity balls just bring everybody in. It's It just makes things really, really easy, especially since you'll be using her as your mainstay. And Rosetta is kind of in the same situation where she's also a 100% physical character that does get a buff in the future, does become stronger, and does essentially, in the very end of the game, like later, later down the road, she will become a meta for your physical team. Right now, currently on the Chinese version of the game, Rosetta, the S-Liv, and the new Bianca are all the best physical characters, but that is long ways down the road. So I still think you're really better off just focusing on Nier instead of going for Rosetta, even though I wouldn't mind getting a couple shards for Rosetta because I would like to take her, try to get her to triple S, but taking her character to triple S from SS to triple S costs you 90 shards, which means you got to spend 45,000 black cards in order to have, to get her to triple S, which is pretty damn crazy. So then all that's left is Bianca and Lucia Plume. Now, Bianca is a terrific character. She really is. She's awesome, guys. Her lightning damage is just insane. She's a powerhouse. The thing about Bianca right now is that you can actually farm a completely free-to-play team in your lightning team. That's right. And Esvera will show up later on who you can actually use as your main damage dealer, a lightning-based tank. She's a tank, but she her damage is just crazy. You could actually use her instead. You could actually save your black cards, just pull for near, and then go for Esvera in the future, guys, and save a few black cards for her. That's really what I think you should do. You'd be better off. Because, I mean, right now, you can always farm you, these other lightning-based characters in the game, like Chrome. Chrome's an a rank character that you can absolutely farm. You can farm for a live here, who is a lightning-based healer, right? And then, of course, you got Chrome. I mean, both these characters you can easily farm completely throughout the game. And, you know, until Esvera, you could actually farm for those two and Lucia Dawn. Lucia Dawn is definitely not as good as Bianca. There's no way, guys. An S rank Bianca is stronger than a triple S Lucia Dawn. That's, that's facts. But I did a video a long time ago where I actually compared them, and Lucia did just fine. She did really, really well. It does take a little bit more careful gameplay, but she does do really well. So you can actually farm a completely free to play team in your your lightning team by doing Lucia, Chrome, and a Liv. You can farm all those characters. You can actually get them all to triple S plus if your heart desires it. So I really wouldn't go for Bianca. And by the way, guys, also, if any of these characters are your favorites, then by all means, and you have the black cards, by all means, go for it, right? But I'm just trying to provide you a perspective from where, you know, you could actually conserve on your black cards, save them for future characters, or just focus on what's really important right now that's going to help your account out the most with which is near. And then finally, we have Lucia Plume. Now, Lucia Plume really is the most valuable, in my opinion, from the limited S banner characters because she is the only ice damage dealing character in the game other than Chang Yu. I mean, Chang Yu, though, I mean, guys, look, he's not the greatest character to use. In fact, I don't even use him at all. I don't use him, period, for anything. I mean, I might use him for a babble. But I don't really use him for anything because the truth is I can actually use other characters in his place that actually perform just as well, if not better, than him. Yeah, it's it's really crazy. Lucia is a total powerhouse because of her burst damage, her signature, her orb. She's just super, super strong. A really insane character. And the only other ice damage dealing character in the game is Chang Yu, who you can actually farm for free because he's an a rank character. If I was going to go for any character in this it would be Lucia Plume, especially since we have Nier right now, 100% physical team that pretty much replaces Alpha and Rosetta. You can actually farm for a lightning-based team. You can save for Esvera in the future, so you don't really need to pull for Bianca. But again, guys, if any of these characters are your waifus or you just love them and you have the black cards available, then by all means, go for it. Pull for the characters that you love, man. That's what games are all about. You know, metas aren't so important in PGR. It's really all about just having a good old time and playing with the characters that you love to play with. So guys, let me know how y'all doing in the game. Let me know what you're going to do. Are you going to pull in the 100% rank up banner or are you just going to be focusing on your near team? And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. DD plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.